Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Obama tells others they don't need giant houses, spends eight million dollars on his. While many socialists may be well-intentioned, others have some common traits: envy, bitterness, resentment, covetousness. It doesn't matter how much you have. For socialists, if someone else has more than you, they have too much. This recognizable trait was on display by our very own former president during a speech in South Africa on Tuesday. Former President Barack Obama managed to both complain that some people have too much money, while also brag about how much money he has. First, he laid out his progressive, socialist dream for the economy. For almost all countries, progress is going to depend on an inclusive market-based system, one that offers education for every child, that protects collective bargaining and secures the rights of every worker. Obama said. One, that breaks up monopolies to encourage competition in small and medium-sized businesses and has laws that root out corruption and ensures fair dealing in business, that maintains some form of progressive taxation so that rich people are still rich, but they're giving a little bit back to make sure that everybody else has something to pay for universal health care and retirement security, and invest in infrastructure and scientific research that builds platforms for innovation. Then, his remarks became nauseating. Right now I'm actually surprised by how much money I got," he said with a smirk. And let me tell you something, I don't have half as much as most of these folks. There's only so much you can eat. There's only so big a house you can have. There's only so many nice trips you can take. The arrogance is stunning. But of course, these comments received thunderous applause and cheers because everybody loves to attack those who have more than they do. Besides the obvious bitterness and arrogance, can we just talk about the hypocrisy here? Obama lives in an $8.1 million mansion in an upscale neighborhood in Washington, D.C. Since his presidency, he's taken numerous expensive trips overseas. His remarks may have been well received in South Africa, but the hypocrisy wasn't lost on plenty of Americans back home. Let's be clear here, there's nothing wrong with Obama having wealth. Unlike the left, conservatives don't believe we have a right to other people's money. There's something very wrong, however, with the rich toned of politician insisting they know how much money everyone else should have. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.